Poetry illuminates just the way a single sunbeam can often illuminate what refuses to be lit. A few lines of a beautiful poem can bring faith back where there's only despair. This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. On some additions to introspective psychology. I started the day by boiling water and holding tea bags in the steam. I could have made a cup for you, but you were sleeping with your mouth open to the cadence of a tiny snore. You were somewhere dreaming of show lines. Instead of sitting by the window, I pull the chair beside your bed and wait for the morning's first sunbeam to find you out. Sometimes we need quietude to know someone we've known for years. I think of me as middle earth between waste to wealth as you refuse to think of me as anything less than gold. I want you to open your eyes and see me before anything else and see me again as I shamelessly let tears fall in the tea as if my love despaired to get somewhere. you will touch my cheeks tenderly and i would know a caress is often a continuum and i would know you were dreaming of me and i would know a caress is often a continuum and i would know you were dreaming of me We lose out on so much of life because we know lesser and lesser of lucidity. We find knots where none exist. We tie ourselves up when there is nobody out to do it. What is it about the wiring of our brains that we revel in complexity and then dream of a simpler life? It is the nature of the world we live in that pushes us towards choices and then watches in glee as we careen over the cliff. But life is nothing if not of the present and the persistent. As a species we want to hurry, noodles in 2 minutes, love at first sight, impossible deadlines and divorce in a jiffy, impatient to reach, desperate to get out. We have forgotten to linger, to let things find their own resolution. We force issues, we lean into people, we seek marathons and then want to run them as 100 meter dashes. And in love, in love we want eternities in our honeymoon and honeymoons for our lives. There's nothing which can possibly stop us from the enormity of life being taken as condensed editions of time itself. but the dynamics of the evolution of anything are only revealed to one who's patient relationships evolve not over days months or even years but over lifetimes finding familiarity is a function of patient excavation and not a case of fast dating we need the night we need the sunbeam we have to weather the storms and seek shelter in the rain We have to cook terrible meals and see sublime sunsets. We have to be terrible lovers and caring compatriots. We have to have a difficult child who we raise together to figure the blessing in our lives. The journey has to find the terror of the Tibetan highlands and the grandeur of the New Zealand passes. It has to take in the best and the worst. to find us naked and clothed to see us alone and with witnesses and then and then only can we say that we found life in all its myriad shades and have known people as the stones or jewels that they truly are This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. Did you know that I've started a newsletter called The Uncuts? It's a weekly and it is full of grace and music and art and poetry. Get the link in the show notes. 
And did you like this episode? If you did, you must share it with someone you love. And why not follow Uncut Poetry on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Ghana, Jio Savan, Google Podcasts, or anywhere you get your podcasts, so you don't miss a single episode. See you next week.